Hey, what's up YouTube? So it has been three years since I originally uploaded one of my most popular videos on two of my three channels. And that is the, uh, the Sutton Sunca Suncast Sutton 7x7 tool shed. So I've had it three years. I uploaded it on my audio channel the first time and I had to take it down because I wanted to put it on the channel you're watching right now. But it's been a total of three years, so I don't want that to throw anybody off because it hasn't been on this channel that long. But come with me, man, because the lots of things have changed since then. So we're gonna take a little trip around my yard to go find out what has happened to this thing over the course of three years. So as you can see right here, it is still in the same spot. There's been a lot of questions. Did it blow away or, you know, what's the, is it windproof? Will it blow away? You know, blah, blah, blah. I live in Houston, Texas, and we have had one major hurricane here since then, and that was Hurricane Harvey. What I did was I took some, um, here they are. Ugh. I took one of these and put it on each side of the shed, and I just strapped it down with some cargo straps. And once the hurricane passed over, I decided to unstrap it, and it has been fine ever since. We've had tons of high wind storms here, but, there's no need to strap this thing down. The weight of itself combined with the stuff you got in it is plenty, it's heavy enough. Another big question was, uh, can I put it in an SUV? Uh, no. So you might wanna rent a truck or have like a flatbed or something because it is very heavy. It's definitely a two man job. If you're a weak body, it's probably a three or four man job. Uh, but you definitely need to have it delivered or you know get a pickup truck or something like that. So no SUVs, no cars, nothing like that. Uh, the next big question that's been asked over and over and over again, even though you decided not to look at my pin description, uh, is about the foundation. So my foundation that I laid was leftover bricks in my house. If you look over here, I have some leftover bricks. This is what they are, just regular Acme bricks, okay? I just laid them out. I didn't complete like a whole foundation. I just spaced them out, you know, enough as far as going around the perimeter of the, um, of, of the, of the shed. So it's a seven by seven perimeter that I made with the bricks. And then I took a few of the bricks and just spaced them out in the middle to kind of even things out. And I did not level the surface. So it's not a level surface that it's sitting on. And it does dip a little bit because I didn't take that extra effort, but it's okay for what I'm using it for. That's all I did as far as a foundation. That is it, nothing special, nothing fancy. Now, another big question is, once you get inside, will it hold a riding lawnmower or a motorcycle or what else was there, a four-wheeler or something like that? And the answer is absolutely. So let me just open up both doors for you. So as I open up both doors and expose all my clutter, uh, you can see that it has housed my lawnmower. We got some Christmas lights here. We got a crawfish pot. We got a junk bounce house. We got some, some landscaping tools and stuff like, and I actually took the extra measure to spray some foam in the gaps. I don't know if you can actually see up in there, but there's some foam that I've sprayed in the gaps just to keep all the large size critters out. You will still get, you know, an occasional wasp or some, you know, some geckos or something like that. But there's nothing else that lives in here other than those tiny little creatures. Now, another big question is, does it block out the rain? The answer is yes. But if you will look over there at that far wall with the pegboard, you'll see a, a watermark right there. Now, I'm assuming that's coming from that vent up there, up top, the little triangle up top. Maybe it was a heavy windstorm or something like that, and it was just blowing crazy water in here for some reason. But other than that, there has been no water to reach the inside of here. And so I would say it's pretty water resistant or waterproof on the inside, unless you have an extreme measure where water's getting in through that ventilation vent. Um, Another big question, uh, you know, before we get to the next big question, I wanna show you that I've actually wired a light into here. So people ask me about the roof. Uh, the roof doesn't, it, the roof is actually constructed very, very, very well. It's got a lot of reinforcements here. So I decided to go ahead and just put a, a light bulb in there. I wired it from my house, so it's hardwired. So I got my little light switch in here. That worked out well. Uh, but the next big question is, as far as the walls, they are not as reinforced as the the roof is with all the extra reinforcements but they've held up really well they aren't buckled or anything like that as you can see it's still standing up you know i got right angles everywhere i don't see any buckles uh except for where i put these pegboards it has bowed out just a little bit man there's like a 
oh man, there's like a six to eight degree radius right here where you can see because I've hung some heavy tools on these pegboards. Now that moves me to the next big question we have, which is how did I hang the pegboard? Well, it was very simple. You take, um, I, I think this is like a one by a one by one uh, strip right here. I just screwed it in across and then I put another one at the bottom. And as far as where I actually screwed in the, uh, the one by one board, there are some kind of mock studs, I guess you would say, in, in, the, uh, in the walls here. So if you see these, these uh, strips right here, these, are, these almost mimic studs, okay? So they're a little bit deeper. They're not reinforced or anything like that. So they're not real studs, but if you're gonna screw something into here, that's where you actually wanna screw it into is these uh, faux studs that it has right here. So just screw it in. And I use regular sheet metal screws with a, a, you know, a very, very coarse thread. Uh, that way it grips onto that plastic resin. And I've got uh, three screws on this one and three screws on the bottom. And then you hang your pegboard to, you know, and that, and that gives you the space. And then you hang your pegboard, then you're gonna be just fine. Um, I don't think there were any other major questions that people had as far as this thing's durability. Like I said, again, it's been three years. Uh, yeah, so it was April, 2017, when I uploaded the very first video on my other channel. Uh, and the date of this video is May 2020. So yeah, it's been three years and a month. So yeah, this thing is definitely stood the test of time. I would definitely spend the full price amount to purchase it again if I had to. But there is one thing here that has happened on the negative side, and that is the lock. The lock was performing just fine until I screwed with it. I lost the key uh, the, on the padlock I had and it was locked up just like that. So I was actually kind of, I, I took a cutting wheel and I was trying to twist the lock so I could access the, the cutting wheel to it. And I was twisting too hard and it snapped off. And ordinarily I wouldn't think it would snap off because this one, this, this piece right here, it's on there really good. So I don't know why that snapped off. It could have just been me applying too much force to it because it does sit here in the sun all the time and it just bakes, it heats up, it cools down, it heats up, it cools down. Uh, my wife says she looked online for a replacement part. She says she couldn't find one. I haven't looked myself, but I plan to maybe after this video. I haven't really been worried about it, but that's the only thing that's actually gone wrong with this thing. And it was more user error than, the, than it actually failing itself. Because if you think about it, putting a padlock on this, I mean, it'll, it's a deterrent from thieves or, you know, people who want to pry in there. It is a deterrent, but it sure as hell is not going to stop anybody from getting in this thing. After all, it is plastic. So that doesn't bother me at all. Once again, I would purchase this thing with 100% of the money if I had to do it again. So was it worth it three years later? Absolutely. I would spend the money again. And if this is something you're looking at purchasing, then yeah, go for it, man. I ain't no expert on this kind of stuff, but I do know I got a sturdy shed here and you should probably go ahead and get it if that was something you were looking for. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me some emoji hands up in the comment section and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Is this not why you are here?